net zero is not about no emissions. Net zero is actually about bringing greenhouse gases down a bit, bringing carbon stocks up a bit, by putting some renewable energy in, by using things like anaerobic digestion, where we reduce the methane emissions from manures. And that, when you put that all together, that is how you get to net zero. But we have a problem. And that problem is also the regulatory framework. So while farmers have to change their behavior, so does the regulatory framework. So all countries that have signed up to Kyoto and the Paris Accord declare to the United Nations through a greenhouse gas national infantry. And it has a lot of vertical silos. So methane and nitrous oxide coming from a livestock system sits in one silo. Increasing carbon stocks sits in another vertical silo. Creating renewable energy and displacing fossil fuel energy sits in another silo. Reducing methane from waste sits in another silo. And currently, we're the only sector out there that actually can be so diverse. So a really diverse farmer, dairy farmer, beef farmer, who's got a landscape, he's got anaerobic digestion. Currently, the legal framework will not recognize all four of those benefits simultaneously. And we need the legal framework to change to allow agriculture and its breadth to drive net zero. The world needs farming, not only to provide really good healthy food, but the world also needs us to build our carbon stocks, to displace fossil fuel energy, to reduce the emissions from waste. And we can only do that if the framework recognizes all the things we do simultaneously. So my concern at a European level, we've already seen two companies, countries, the Netherlands, the Republic of Ireland, setting legally binding targets on one silo. So here in Ireland, we've set a target of reducing methane and nitrous oxide by 25%, and that sits on one silo. We've given no recognition to the same farmers who are managing carbon under their soils, in their trees, in their hedges. They're not getting recognized at all. If they buy a photovoltaic panel and they put it on the roof of their barn for milking cows, and they displace fossil fuel electricity, they don't get recognized for that either. If they put an anaerobic digester in that reduces the methane from that, they don't get recognized for that either. And so, you know, my plea to the United Nations, to the European Union, as we encourage farmers to accelerate on this journey to net zero, they need to smarten their framework too, to allow the breadth of farming for all the tools in the toolbox to be used. I use the phrase, unshackle us. Let us use all the tools that are right for our farm business and not only one quarter of them.